Hi friends, welcome to the first episode of a totally new series of videos entitled Spontaneous Cooking for the Soul, which is geared towards a more unplanned cooking. We came up with this series, which we will publish in addition to our usual videos, and this series will be more about recipes that we cook on a daily basis. So when we can and when spontaneity kicks in, we will just grab our camera and start filming with a more natural approach and without all the meticulous planning, cuts and other editings. This way you will not only be able to enjoy more videos from us, since some of you have requested more frequent uploads, but at the same time you will get a better sense of what goes on in our kitchen. These videos are going to be a little longer than our usual videos, with fewer cuts depending on recipes, and it is the perfect pace in case you would want to be cooking along with us. If you're not, please make yourself cozy with a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Sit back, relax and watch. Let's cook! So for this first episode, I'm going to be doing a Mauritian idli recipe, a vegan version of the Mauritian idli. So the Mauritian idli is um, a sweet um, a steamed cake, which, uh, which is not fermented like the Indian version, which uh, is fermented overnight and then cooked. The Mauritian one is made with semolina flour and it's uh, really easy and very quick to make. So let's get started. For this, um, you are going to need an idli mold. But if you can't find an idli mold, you can use um, these kind of uh, silicone cupcake liners. Or you can also use like something like this um, stainless steel balls. But then. Um, Idli molds, they have little holes in there that helps the idli to become more fluffy, so that's nice. So first of all, before we start the preparation, I'm going to um, put some water in a pan here. This is where we are going to steam the idli, so I'm going to turn this on so that it starts to heat up. Now I'm going to grease the idli mold, so you just um, take the trays out and you can use uh, any oil, I'm using coconut oil, so just lightly grease each cavity. So these are uh, idli molds, uh, you can find them in uh, uh, Indian uh, grocery, grocery stores, some, some of them carry those molds or you can also buy them online. I'll leave uh, a few links down below in the description if you want to get them online. If you're using the silicone liners, then you don't need to grease them. So now I'm going to set this aside and then we can prepare the batter. So in a mixing bowl, we're going to add all the ingredients. This is semolina flour, fine semolina. You can find semolina in fine, medium or coarse. I'm using fine. You can use something from fine to medium, but not the coarse one. So next, we're going to add some baking powder. So one teaspoon of baking powder. And that's salt. Just a pinch because this is the sweet version, but we just need a pinch. So next we are going to add the sugar. I'm using granular sugar. So 
So you can use uh, white or brown sugar. So this is uh, Demerara. So as usual, you can check uh, the recipe for the exact amount of ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to mix this now, all the dry ingredients together. Then I'm going to start adding the wet ingredients. So that's uh, coconut milk. This is canned coconut milk. You can use other non-dairy milk. So if you're using other non-dairy milk, then you can just uh, replace the water with the other milk. So next, I'm going to add water. Then that's uh, vanilla. So one teaspoon. Now mix all this together. So we're looking into a thick batter consistency. Make sure all the ingredients are well mixed. So lastly I'm going to add some coconut flakes which are optional. So just one tablespoon. So now we're going to fill the mold with the batter. So don't overfill them as they will rise while steaming. the second layer when you place the second tray make sure you're um, alternating the, the cavities so place it like this so that the steam can travel in between the trays and then the last tray So now attach the knob and we're ready to steam the idlis. Cover the pan and steam the idlis for 11 minutes, not more or they will lose their fluffiness. Turn off the heat and let the steam go down for about 30 seconds before uncovering. A toothpick inserted in the middle should come out with just a few bits of cake, but not any wet batter. So once the idlis are cold, remove them from the mold. And you can dip them in some coconut flakes if you like. Idlis are mostly enjoyed at breakfast time or as a snack. They go down a treat savoured with a cup of tea. They will keep in the refrigerator for two days and can be frozen for longer. To reheat, just place them on a steamer rack and steam for about 5 minutes or until they are warm.
as you can see they were very easy to make and they don't take that much time they only take about 11 minutes to steam so they look really nice and they, they look very fluffy so i'm gonna taste one for you mm. they're really good so <clears throat> Like I said, if um, you want to use the um, silicone liners, you just um, place um, a tablespoon of batter in each and you put that on a tray and then you steam it the same way. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, recipe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you have and also share the video. You can subscribe to our channel and also subscribe to our newsletter we send an email every time we have a new recipe on the blog and on the channel so i'll see you soon for our next episode bye